Hi everybody and welcome back to VR Essentials where we talk about the practical uses of VR and thanks again to all our regular viewers and subscribers for coming back and for supporting this amazing channel that you are very much a part of and a big welcome to all our newcomers. Of course, this is part of the first cut unedited raw series that we're uploaded to the channel and today we're talking about the updates to Automobilista 2 Automobilista 2 in VR because there have been some changes with some updates to the actual patch and also some updates to Nvidia very recently and also Steam VR which has had some kind somewhat some impacts on the gameplay and I thought it'd be very important to talk about these since a couple weeks ago we uploaded a video about all of this different stuff and you know first of all let's talk about one of the issues that has changed since then so if we go back to uh one of the actual videos which you know this is my ai artificial intelligent assistant had set during the video which is as per what she said to ensure that the super sampling in steam vr is no higher than 100 percent or the app will crash right so the first thing that she actually said is that you know we should make sure that basically the, 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 the super sampling inside of SimVR shouldn't be more than 100%, otherwise the app will crash. Well, do note that I'm using the RTX 2070 with an i7-9700K with an Asus Maximus Hero 11 motherboard. Now, yes, if I put it higher than that after a few laps, especially if there are a lot of cars inside of the scene, the app will crash. So if you're going to be using, you know, perhaps some set, you know, some hardware that is less than that, then most definitely you might actually have some issues as well. Now there's something else that we need to reflect in today's video that you know she had or she said actually also said in the video, which is the following. So give me a great VR experience. Junior, get ready to increase power. Lazius, it will crash the system completely. There is no need to crank up the settings to max or high as most of them won't make a big difference in graphics anyway. The right, so the first thing I want to talk about is that she said that it doesn't really matter if we're going to crank up the settings to maximum or high because it doesn't really make a big difference in the gameplay. Now, I'd like to clarify this part. Uh, and also for those who didn't watch the previous video or who did, but didn't watch it until the end, there were actually some heat. Easter hidden eggs in there uh, as to some of the things that we can actually augment in the actual settings to make that bit of a difference. So first of all, no, it's very true. The most thing that actually makes a difference, and I will show this very briefly as we will go inside of the actual app. Um, there are a couple things that do make a difference. For example, the map, if you put this on ultra, there will definitely be a difference, but it will also affect the actual performance of the actual gameplay as well. And I will show this to you in just a moment. Uh, but most of the things don't really make a huge difference. Yes, it is true that if you put Bloom on and also if you put Fog on and all these kind of things, of course, they're undoubtedly going to make some difference because, you know, when you see the nice fog from the morning, for example, or the Bloom, which is basically these really nice flares that come into the camera when you, especially when it's hitting, you know, the sun and the camera is pointing towards the sun, it makes a nice flare. So it does create some nice effects. And of course, the particle effects, which we also had reflected in the previous video where we did a you know uh, a side by side comparison with particles on and with particles off then there's definitely uh you know some differences there when you're using for example a stormy kind of rainy weather when you turn off the particles and unfortunately you won't see the particles but when you turn particles on then of course you see this whole flush of water everywhere it's pretty pretty <coughs> excuse me it's pretty amazing so uh, there's something else that she actually said so let's just uh you know Take a look. So uh, let me just transition over. Car, track, pit, crew, and shadow detail can be left on medium. I have also made sure that V-Sync is disabled both in game and at So we'll go through this in just a moment. Here's what else that she said. You can do so by going back into the Steam VR reprojection settings and enabling motion vector instead of automatic. This should smoothen the game. So for those who are actually used to uh, reprojection and who know uh, all about it, now what if you don't know about reprojection, it basically means that Steam VR and Windows Mixed Reality work hand in hand to split the amount of frames that they're each going to basically print, as it were, or render uh, onto the actual screen. So if you want to learn more about reprojection, do go and check out the other video we did uh, using Assita Corsa Competizione. Um, you know, in the link description below, which I'll put. Uh, but basically, if you're going to be using since the last update uh, of Steam VR, it's not recommended to use automatic. It's more recommended to basically use motion vector. And in this way, you'll be sure that you won't have any stutter 
uh, going on when you're using Automobilista number two in VR. So just a little, uh, you know, point there. Now, what we're going to do is we're actually going to go inside of VR. So let me just transition once more. And we're going to turn on our uh, Windows Mixed Reality software, which is up. So we're going to go inside of the settings. And first of all, we're going to now it's recommended for you guys when you go inside of environment. So sorry to headset display, uh, turn off optimized performance. This means that basically whatsoever is on this screen, uh, you're not going to be able to actually see it uh, whilst you're, you know, uh, playing a game and it will basically take away some of those resolutions adding some frames inside of your actual gameplay all right so but for us for today we're going to turn it on because i'm going to go inside of uh, steam vr itself so let me go back to the settings uh, let me go to headset display let me go to optimize performance and we're going to choose best visual quality and then the computer is going to go black and then come back online there we go it's back and then I'm going to press on the Windows and Y key to bring back my computer. There we go. So now we're going to go inside of actual, uh, you know, of VR. So let me put the headset on. So guys, I'm using the, oh, there we go. So guys, I'm using the VR Dash Wave Dot Store lens, prescription lenses, by the way, just to let you know they're really cool. If you want a discount, uh, I'll put a link in the description below. You can use the promo code VR Essentials. Okay, let me just turn off the mic. Test one, two. Test one, two. Okay, we're back inside of the actual. So the mic is now coming from the VR headset. There we go. I'm going to get my controller. And also another tip, guys, put some tape on your, you know, double sided tape and or, or normal tape and then just roll it over on itself and put it on your sensor. Because every time you will touch the front of your headset or you just, you know, nudge the headset off your forehead, what's going to happen is basically, you know, everything is going to disappear from your actual computer screen so let's go into the actual steam vr and i'm just going to show you very quickly first of all the settings inside of steam vr for those who are a little bit confused about uh, you know some people are saying well if you put steam vr on 50 percent it will affect the graphics inside of the actual gameplay i'd like to say that this is actually an urban myth all right so let's just open the steam vr settings video settings so basically this is the steam vr home so you can see here right steam vr if you put this to 50 percent okay and then you go inside of let's say automobilista 2 and you put this to 100 percent this will cancel out the steam vr home settings all right it doesn't it will not run your game at 50 percent steam vr so please all those who think that you you're going to run your game at 50 percent steam vr when you put this at 100 percent is not true i don't know where you got this from maybe in the past maybe previously in the very old version of steam vr it was the case but not in the current settings okay this is an urban myth it just does not exist all right so whatever you do only put steam vr home um at 50 percent let me just go back to video settings Steam VR Home, so only put it at 50% here. If, of course, you're having some stutter inside of your Steam VR itself, then put it to 50%, but it won't actually matter, um, you know, whether this is at 50% or, or 2% or 100% in Steam VR Home, it will not affect your AMS, uh, you know, Auto BBD set 2 settings. So we're going to leave it on 100%. All right, return home. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put uh, Automobilista, we're going to launch this. So sometimes this screen will come up for the very first time, uh, which is, I don't know, something there. So just put return to game. There we go. I'm just going to get rid of this. So it says next up. Now the first time that you load the game, uh, it's always going to take a little time to um, load, just to let you know. So you know, 
I don't know why it does that. It just does that, unfortunately. So what we can do is, as you can see, this, the actual window on my computer has not yet loaded. So we just need to wait a little bit for everything to come up so that it's up and running. So, of course, when we're doing non-edited videos, um, you know, all of this kind of stuff. So you can see down there is my screen. So I have to go to my reset view. And then I will see the actual settings. So on the screen, of course, now uh, we're seeing the PC screen, as it were. All right, so let's just use the PC screen for just a minute first. And then I will transition into VR in just a second. So another tip, by the way, is always put on your Microsoft Xbox controller, preferably before you launch uh, Windows Mixed Reality, but it seems that now it doesn't really make a difference, so there we go. So let's go to the settings in performance. Now, in the previous video, we had put everything to medium, all right? So in today's video, what we're gonna do, oh, let's, let's just crank everything up. Now, do bear in mind that I am running the, you know, the camera, and I'm also running OBS at the same time to do the recording, okay? So, let's just see what happens when I put the anisotropic to time 16. <coughs> Excuse me. Live, unrecorded, unedited video. V-Sync always switch off because otherwise you will have stutter. The multi-sampling AA, let's put this to, to high. Reflections, we'll leave this on medium because honestly they don't make that much of a difference. The environmental map, now what we're going to do is we're going to put it on ultra. The car detail, we'll put this on high and ultra. The track detail, we'll leave it on ultra. Thicker detail, doesn't matter. We'll leave this on none. Shadow detail is on ultra. Enhanced mirror, doesn't matter. We'll leave this on no. Motion blur, always leave this off or it will cause some uh, motion sickness. Render frames, we'll leave this on 4. Detailed grass, we'll put this on high. Particle level, let's put this on high, although it's not going to make a difference right now because we're not going to go in the rain. But it can make some difference for, let's say, dust. Particle density, let's put this on high. Or oh, ultra even. Alright, so let's get out of here. And then let's go to visual effects. So we're going to go post-processing on, interior sun flare, we'll leave this on subtle, bloom we're going to put this on on, heat haze we'll leave this on, raindrops yes, vignette no because we don't want any vignetting, uh, we want full screen on our game, crepuscular rays, let's put this on yes, screen dirt, nah we don't need those, cockpit mirror, yes we need this on, okay? So basically, the exterior sun flare, we're going to put this on full. Actually, not full, because we don't want to be blinded. We'll put it on this, on subtle. So it's nice and subtle. All right, there we go. So what we've done, basically, effectively, is we have put all the settings to maximum, okay? And you're going to see there will be some frame dropping here and there, but ultimately it will work so let's do a single race there we go so we're gonna go to let's choose our vehicle and by the way there has also been a difference in terms of um, the actual gameplay as well since an update that came uh, you know not too long ago which was basically four or five days ago. All right, so let's start. I'm going to show you there are some differences in way that you handle the actual car itself as well, but let's focus more on the actual graphics first and see how many laps we can do before the app actually is going to crash, right? All right, so the other thing I need to do is go to my options. And if I want to use automatic, I always have to put automatic here, even if it's on automatic. So let's start. Let's go to edit setup very quickly. Want this on 16 and then this on 30. There we go. 
Save. Start. I'm going to change the camera. Alright, there we go, we're off. Oh, oh, as you can see already, some difficulties of handling the actual car. Alright, so let's go. Let me just pause the game just to make sure that you can see the actual VR screen very quickly. Yes, you can. Alright, all good. And let's, uh, let's just do a re uh, restart session very quickly. So for some reason, my car is starting in the wrong place. Alright, let's go. I'm going to put less acceleration. There we go, we're back in the cockpit. Alright, so I'm last at the moment, as you can tell, and the corner's about to come up. Everyone's going to break, so we're going to break kind of last. Alright, there we go. Oh, sorry about that. Didn't mean to do that. Alright, so as you can tell, you can see the bloom here, for example, on the reflection of the billboard here as we go into the sun of the camera. You can see some nice bloom. Alright, there we go. Now the car, there is... There is some jagged edges on the actual uh, floor, especially at the uh, shadows. So I don't know if you can see on the shadows. Let me just stop the car. And you can see there are a lot of jagged edges going on here, and I'm not quite sure why. But the, the game itself is running pretty smoothly. Now, normally speaking, the only reason why there would be some jagged edges on the floor uh, it would be due to the uh, anisotropic sampling and also the texture mapping of the actual app itself. And as you know, if we were just to exit the game very quickly, so let's just go to return to pit box, yes, and exit, yes. Alright, so we're going back to the, to the actual uh, main menu itself. And then let's go back to the settings. Let's go to performance. Now, if we go to virtual reality, as you can tell, I'm maxed out on my super sampling, okay? I'm completely maxed out. I cannot go beyond two. So if we go to performance, everything is set to high or ultra. There's nothing else I can do, really. Environmental map is ultra. Everything is on absolute ultra. So if we were to change the settings, and put things on medium and anisotropic I'll put on 8 instead environmental map we put on medium as well car detail on medium track detail on medium pit crew shadow detail we put on medium in fact it might be better to put the shadow detail on medium so it's not so detailed so that basically less of the detail the more blurry it will be then the less jagged edges uh, will actually, you know, come off on the actual uh, screen itself. Okay, so let's put everything back to medium. There we go. You need to restart the game for the changes to affect. So let's. Okay, so let's go back to performance and put everything back to high. So we don't have any, we don't need to restart anything. And then the only thing we're going to do is we're going to change the shadows in that case. So shadow detail to medium. We'll put them on low even. And then everything else will leave as it were before. There we go. Okay, and then let's just go back inside of the actual gameplay. single race and then let's go to the opponent settings by the way and just increase also to let's say 16 and then let's just start so none of the effects have taken shape in terms of the anisotropic and also the graphics uh, for the MSAA and also the texture mapping however for the shadows this will be taken into account into the changes when we load the game so let's go back to options controls Automatic, okay, start. Alright, so I'm gonna put less acceleration so we don't have any issues. 
All right, and then let's just see the settings of the shadows. Already there are less jagged edges for the shadows itself. But they're still there. <laughs> so I just wanted to show you guys that they are still there, unfortunately. They are still there. As you can tell, if I just stop the car for very quickly, you can tell on the shadows that the edges are still very jagged. They seem to be slightly less jagged, but honestly speaking, they are still quite jagged. So the reflections look really cool. If we look at the reflections here on the actual body of the car, you can tell the reflections are really nice as well. And most of the other settings are okay. And then when you look at the car, you can see the flares from the bloom, which really adds, of course, some of the details in terms of the graphics itself. And there is no issues in terms of the actual car, so if we were to wait for the cars to come, we can hear them, but we can't see them yet, which is quite unusual. I've never really understood that. If we look backwards, and then we just wait for the cars. It sounds like they're about to arrive. Yes, they are. Okay. And then let's see how the graphics deal with, with so many cars in the actual viewfinder. There we go. And then let's just let them pass. Come on, they can overtake. Let's see how the graphics do. So far, so good. No drops. No drops in frame. Everything is still very smooth. Except, as you can tell, the gameplay is very hard. I can't seem to be able to stick on the ground. doing okay there's no more cars behind me so the graphics can handle things pretty well when it comes to you know having cars and all this kind of stuff because in the previous let's just go back in the previous uh, version of the actual game itself basically what happened was I needed to bump down all the cars to 8 or between 8 and let's say 10 or 12 maximum otherwise there were definitely going to, you know, be some issues uh, when I was running the actual game itself. So uh, let's just go back. Let's let's go back into the settings and then this time bump everything up to maximum. We're going to bump everything back up to maximum. So resolution nine is ultra big sixteen. Reflections. Going to put them on ultra. Although it doesn't really matter. This you could leave on medium, honestly speaking. It doesn't really matter. Environment environment map is one of the things that does make a lot of difference. I would say the three things that make the most difference will be your texture resolution, which medium is more than enough. You don't need it to be on high, honestly speaking. I'm just putting them on high for the purpose of this video. Anisotropic does make some difference, but honestly, putting it on 4 or 8 is absolutely okay. You do not need it on 16, I'm telling you right now. MSAA, you don't need it on high, as I mentioned, medium is absolutely fine, but for the purpose of this video, we'll put it on high. And then uh, the environment map is the one thing that really does the make, makes the most difference in terms of the actual game itself. Car detail doesn't really make that much difference, but for the purpose of this video, we'll put it on ultra, but medium is absolutely fine. Track detail, you don't need it on ultra, medium is absolutely fine also, but for the purpose of this video, we'll just leave it on ultra. Bicker detail, I usually leave this on non, and then shadows will put it on ultra, but honestly, as I just mentioned just now, it doesn't really make that much of a difference. Medium is absolutely fine as well. Um, and then we'll, you know, leave everything else, you know, as is. We'll put render frame to two, uh, but three is generally, you know, better for me. I put it on four, but, you know, uh, let's just leave it to three. Grass detail, we don't need it on ultra on high but we'll put it on high for the purpose of this video particles put them on high and then particle density on high as well all right so we need to uh go back to visual effects and everything is everything else is on except for screen dirt we don't want to be blinded so we'll leave this on no okay there we go so what we now need to do is we need to go to uh, our task manager very quickly. I'm just going to put my glasses back on, otherwise I can't really see that 
well written things. And we're just going to turn off, um, we're just going to switch off our Steam VR and we're going to restart everything. So we don't have any issues with the app and Automobilista 2 as well. Okay, exiting VR. There we go. And Steam VR should be switched off. Yes, it is indeed. So we're back inside of Steam VR. And then now what we're going to do is we're going to launch Steam VR once more. And then we're going to launch uh, Automobilista once again just to show you, uh, you know, as all the actual uh, graphics, uh, you know, take into account all the changes. So it's a fresh, basically a fresh start. And then everything will be basically loaded on Ultra uh, or High. So let's go to Automobilista 2 and launch. And guys, I would not recommend putting Automobilista 2 uh, in the super sampling of Steam VR to um, you know to 50. Some people say they put it on 50. Now, if you don't have an RTX 2070 or an i7, uh, i7, um, you know, uh, 9700K, then obviously, you know, or, or Nysus Maximus Hero 11, and you have a different kind of card, then of course, you know, bump down your super sampling settings. Um, of you know of your Steam VR for, for sure you know put it down to 50% and then see what happens from there so if I just show you the window okay so if I just show you the window of what I'm trying to talk about let me just get rid of this thing here there we go so if you can't run your Steam VR to you know 100% because it's going to cause a lot of frame drops and all this kind of stuff. Then go inside of, you know, Automobilista 2. Go to video settings. And then in Automobilista 2, make sure that you're on 50%. But only do that if really, you know, you can't run the game at 100. Otherwise, you don't bump it down to 50%. This will really, really affect the graphics. You know, it's really going to create more noise and more pixelation. Um, in your gameplay. So if you don't need to bump it down, don't leave it to 100%, all right? And also, if you want to bump it down to 50%, make sure you do this in home of Steam VR, not here. And then you'll have to restart your Steam VR for effects to happen also. So let's just go back to uh, return game. There we go. And then let's just open the actual Steam VR. Automobile is set to window. There we go. So we're back inside. And then let's just look at the graphics for now. Single race. Let's go back in. There we go. So the game is just loading at the moment. And then in just a moment, we're going to talk about the actual playability of the game because there have been uh, some changes. So let me go to options. Controls, automatic. Oh. There we go. And then let's go back to start. For some reason, I have to change. All right, there we go. So my car doesn't. All right, so all the cars are going to break. All right, there we go. I'm breaking as well. So as you can tell, the, the computer is doing just fine. No issues, no drops in frames. Let's see if we can follow the actual cars. I'm not trying to go as fast as possible. I'm just trying to play so I don't crash. And I can follow the cars and then show you how the computer is actually doing. So there's no drops in frames at the moment. Everything's doing very well. Let's break here so we don't go into the grass. So there are 16 cars in the actual game out of 24. Not too bad. So as you can tell, the graphics are doing pretty well at the moment. No issues with the graphics. The bloom is there. Very nice bloom. This is kind of the sunrise, I imagine. There we go. Everything is good. There's no... Everything is smooth. The graphics are doing absolutely fine, no issue whatsoever, as you can tell. 
The only issue is some of the jagged edges, especially uh, when it comes to the actual, um, you know, the actual shadows. There's a lot of jagged edges at the actual shadows, which is really, really a big bummer. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to change the time of the actual game. We're going to go, sorry, not the time, the actual uh, thunder. So let's put some thunder. Where's our thunder? Is this thunder? There used to be a thunder. Ah, it's here. Okay. Let's put thunder. Let's save. Let's go back into the game around. Uh, let's change the time as well from 6 o'clock to maybe something a bit more sunny. There we go, 1 o'clock. Save. And then let's go. Uh, we can change the track as well, why not? Let's just see if we can use another track. Alright, there we go, completely random. Alright, yep, yeah. nope, I want another track. Why isn't it selecting it? There we go. And then... Okay, it's, it's for some reason it selected the same track. I'm not quite sure why, but never mind. Doesn't matter. Let's just go with it. Um, and then also the weather at the moment is different. We And the time is different as well. So they'll be good enough. Alright, so let me, let me just reset the, um, the position of... So I don't have any issues when I start the game. Go to options. As you can tell already, I'm having some stutter effects here in the actual menu, which means that we're going to have some issues when, when we're going to be running the game. Normally, if in the menu you have any stutter when you're moving around your, your head, it means you'll have issues. Things should be superbly stable inside of the actual menu as well. Okay. For the edit setup, let's re just restart everything to default. Okay. And then let's start. There we go. So already I'm having some stutter when I'm moving around. Alright, let's go. The car is, oh my god, is really not handling well at all. Okay, let's just uh, go slower. And I can already tell that I'm having drops in frames per second, just to let you know. It's not as smooth as it was uh, with the actual, with the pre- oh, okay, we are on a different track. It's definitely not as smooth as what it was before, for sure. We're definitely having some issues on the graphics here. So the question is, what can we do to make things better? Well, first of all, um, let's retire the pit. Yes, and then let's exit the game. Yep. So we're just returning to the main menu now. And there's a few things we can do. So, first of all, let's go to the performance. Let's see what happens actually if we keep the same, but we go to the uh, game itself. Championship. No, sorry, uh, single race. And we change the opponent settings from 16. Let's put this to 8. Okay, less aggression, there we go. And then let's just save. And then inside of the actual uh, settings itself. I can't go into the custom settings for some reason. Okay, there we go. Let's go to performance. And then let's just um, car detail. We won't need this on high, so let's just put it on medium. Environment map, we'll just leave it as is for now. Track detail, we can put this on medium. Shadows, we can put these on medium because we, we know they don't make that much of a difference. They just don't. Frame turned, we'll put this on two. Detailed grass, we don't need this to be so high. Particle level, we can bring this to medium. Particle density, we don't need so many particles. Let's put them on medium. Okay? So let's just leave the NSO, anisotropic on 16. Or leave the, the texture resolution to high. And then the... Uh, texture filtering, sorry, the uh, environmental map to ultra as well. And then let's just see what we get. And then inside of the actual visual effects, we're going to 
leave everything as is. Okay, there we go. And then let's go back in single race. And then let's go to start. Then let's see what kind of difficulty or how, you know, things are. How things differ. But generally speaking, if you put less cars on the actual track itself already, it will make much more of a bigger difference. So, but as you can tell, I'm still getting stutter as I'm inside of here. So something is causing some issues. Let's just go to edit setup. Let's go to advanced setup. And then let's change the tires to wet. There we go, this should make a difference already. And then let's go to options. Make sure automatic is going to be working. And then let's start. There is still some stutter. All right, let's go. Let's see what happens. Let's see if the gameplay is much better. No, it's not. I'm still getting stutter. It is not as fresh or as smooth as it should be. And also the car is really so hard to, to handle. It's not at all like it was in the previous game. Sorry, in the previous video, which I'll put a link in the description below, uh, where everything was super smooth, everything was working, you know, everything was absolutely fine. There are so many issues in the new update since the update five days ago. I can barely control the car. It's absolutely horrible. Uh, and not just in the wet conditions, by the way, but also, um, you know, in on dry. So let me just go to the dry and, and, and show you. So let's go to retire to pit box. Yes. Exit. Yes. And then later I'll show you what's causing the issue in the actual game itself, especially with the wet. Alright, let's change the time. The weather, sorry. Let's put this on dry. There we go, nice and sunny. Let's go to save and then let's change the track once more. Let's go to Cadwell Park. I've got no idea, you know, what it'll be, but let's just try it. There we go, start. So we'll look both at the graphics, but we'll also look more importantly now at the handling of the actual car itself. And you'll see that it's just really impossible to handle the cars. It's very hard from the get-go now to, you know, let's go to edit setup, advanced setup. You know, my advanced setup, everything. Oh, I don't know why it says wet. So reset to default. Yep, there we go. Everything is reset to default. Let's go to options, controls, make sure it's on automatic. Let's go back to edit setup, advanced, just to make sure everything is back to default. Yes, it is. Done. Okay. Start. All right, let's go. Green light. Okay, now I'm going to put, I'm going to drive as per normal. So we, the starter is gone. All right. Already, it was very hard for me to break, but never mind. Something's happened. Ah, the game has actually, the game has actually um, crashed. So Steam VR has crashed. Just to let you guys know. So, uh, what I need to do generally uh, under these kind of circumstances is go back to my uh, end task and then look for Steam VR, which is here, and end task from here. And then everything will just end itself. There we go. If I go to the top, it's no longer here, as you can see. All right, so what we're going to do is where I'm going to use my controller. We're going to go back inside of Steam VR. And I'm going to show you um, the actual setting that causes the most issues for me anyway. Alright, so we're going to load SteamVR back on once more. Alright, we're inside our home. Uh, we're going to load Autobobilista 2. There we go, launching. I'm just going to show you also what happens. Okay, so Automobilista is launching, but we're going to go back into the Windows Mixed Reality window and I'm going to show you something. So if you see that your screen is down there, all you have to do is bring up your 
SteamVR and then click on Reset Settings. And there you go, it will be here. All right, so let's uh, load the automobile to window. There we go. All right, so what you need to do if you have crashes like this, of course, I'm running OBS and also, of course, my, uh, you know, my actual Canon, you know, my Canon window as well. Um, so, okay, it's still running, so everything's good. And also this window, make sure you get rid of it, as I mentioned. Okay, so when this happens and you can't control your mouse, use your headset to, to be your mouse. Okay, there we go. All right. So what you need to do is go back to options, go to performance, and bring down your environment map. That's what you need to do. So we're going to bring it down to medium. We're also going to bring down the anisotropic to 8. And we're going to bring down the texture resolution to medium because as I mentioned countless times before you don't need them on high anyway okay there we go they've been registered we don't need to restart the app so that's all good and then now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go inside of a uh, single race again we're gonna change the weather back to this which is storm and we're gonna go to start once more there we go. And then let's see what happens in terms of the graphics. Now the graphics should run smoother. There shouldn't be as many issues as before. But let's just see because obviously there's been a new update uh, on the Automobilista 2 as I mentioned before. Alright, let's change the tires to wet. There we go. Done. Go to options, control. All right, make sure it's on automatic. Start. All right, let's do this. And let's go. Oh, oh no. Okay, I got a <laughs> restart session. <laughs> Don't know what just happened there. All right, let's start. All right, nearly, and let's go. There we go. So it's very hard to handle the car. I'm literally sliding everywhere. It's it's impossible. It's it's impossible to drive the car. It really is. And if you go to the app, and also the app has crashed once again. So uh, what we're going to do is um, so we're going to quit Steam VR first of all, and then I'm going to go to uh, settings. We're going to go to environment and I'm going to, I didn't want to clear environment, never mind. Um, in headset display, I'm going to put it to optimize. And then we're going to go and make sure that Steam is not running. There we go, we turned it off from here. And then let's go to our task manager and then let's just make sure that it's also been switched off from here too okay. testing one two one two okay everything's running smoothly so my headset's on and what I'm basically doing now is I'm it's asking me to put my headset on, right? Because it's looking for the actual uh, headset. So let me turn it up, put it, put it off, and put it back on. No, unfortunately, it's asking me to. So what we need to do in these circumstances is basically restart Windows Mixed Reality. So let me just take this off, shut down. All right, put on your headset. Yes, it's on. Come on. I'm looking down as it tells you. My headset is on, dude. Okay, so this is what happens when we do 
non edited things okay so if really your computer you know it's been very um let me just go to ah there we go we're in but just in case your computer is being you know kind of stubborn uh, you know, just restart your HP from the mains and then, you know, you'll be fine. So we're just restarting um, Steam now at the moment. There we go, we're back inside of Steam. You can't see anything, of course, on the actual screen itself. So let me just transition. Just need to make sure this is on. Okay, there we go. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to switch on Automobilista, which I'm doing. There we go. I'm launching Automobilista 2. I'm just going to transition from one window to the other so we don't have any issues. And so that everything is seamless. There we go. All right, it's loading. Can I reset my view settings? And there we go. So the other thing you want to make sure when you're having some issues, uh, as I mentioned in one of the previous videos, is to make sure that in your SteamVR settings, uh, you are in your reprojection settings, you are also on motion vector and not, uh, you know, not on anything else. So what we can do is we can go to our performance again, and then for the for the particles, we can put them on low because we don't actually need them. Uh, we don't need these to be on medium either because there's enough particles as it is when it's raining. And this will also affect the memory when you're using, uh, you know, raining, kind of stormy kind of weather. So, you know, no need to have these on medium or high. All right, so let's exit out of here. And then let's go back to a game. So let's go to single race. And then let's go also, let's change a different track. Let's go to Donington Park, why not? And then let's start. So I'm using different tracks to show you that, you know, it doesn't really have anything to do with the tracks uh, in terms of the graphics. And also it doesn't have anything to do, doesn't have anything to do in terms of the actual cars either too, okay? All right, let's uh, go back to our edit setup. Advanced setup, we have the wet ties on, so all good. And then let's go to our options, make sure we're on controls, automatic, all good. And as you can tell already, my screen is no longer jittery that much anymore. It's actually much better. And then let's start. All right, let's do this. Let's go. Low speed. We still have quite a lot of particles, so that's all good. The car is still quite hard to handle, I have to admit. Oh, I didn't know they were... Sorry about that, guys. I didn't actually... I didn't actually... I didn't, sorry. I didn't actually see that they were breaking. But I just want to show you that by bringing down the maps, and also by bringing down the particles to low, that the graphics can handle things much, much better, um, you know, when it's coming to the actual rain itself. If you were to put the particles to medium or high, you're definitely going to have some issues for sure. So let's exit this uh, session. And then let's increase the number of cars now, uh, you know, to whatever, 16. Let's just see what happens. So let's just change the track again. There we go. Let's go to Ibarra. And then let's uh, change the number of opponents from 8. So let's say 15 and then let's go and then let's just see what happens so every time the the game starts for the first time I always have to go into my option settings and make sure that automatic is chosen that means that even if you see automatic that's chosen there you still have to press the the B button or something to uh, you know make sure it's on automatic if you want to use automatic. Otherwise, by default, it will actually, um, you know, put things on manual, just to let you know. All right. So now we have 
twice the amount of cars. Let's go. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Ah. Unfortunately, I've been booted out of the actual game. So SteamVR could not handle... Uh, basically, SteamVR cannot handle 15 cars. So let's just uh, bump things back down to... Let's exit Steam just to be sure. And then let's go to our task manager. Just to make sure that Steam is off. Runtime, yes. Steam doesn't seem to be on, so all good. And then let's go back inside of Steam VR. So give me a moment. So I just want to show you guys that, you know, when you're bumping the number of cars from eight to double the amount, not even double, it's about 90% amount to 15, then unfortunately the game, Steam VR just can't handle it. My graphics card cannot handle it, even though uh, particles are set to low, uh, particle effect is set to low, you know, it just can't handle it. It will just automatically crash. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go back inside of Automobilista 2 now. And then we're going to um, basically put the actual graphic settings back to uh, 8. And then let's just see what happens. All right, so it's loading again. Let me just get rid of the this window, this little window there. And then let's just make sure also that the window you're seeing on your screen. Yes, it is. All right, so we're back inside of Automobilista 2. And then we're going to go back to a single race, opponent settings, and then we're going to bring this back down to 8. And then let's just save. There we go. And then everything else uh, is as is. So if we were to go uh, back into the settings, performance, texture, medium, and it's to 8, MSW is at high, reflections, medium, 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 everything to medium. And then we have two for render frames, particle level, particle density to low. All right, and then for visual effects, everything else on, everything else, however, is on. Okay, and then uh, so let's go back to single race same track same everything just less number of cars so we put the number of cars back to eight so this you know is a very comprehensive video in terms of the graphic settings for automobile Star 2 you know that is completely unedited so there's no edit in what I'm doing as you can tell so no cheating all right let's go back to options make sure everything is on automatic yes let's go to our edit advanced wet tires okay all good and then let's just start all right let's go all right oh and you see my car the moment i accelerate too much it's basically impossible to to handle the car so this is such a big issue it's really really a big big issue man I can't, I can't go full speed because my car will literally, you know. But basically you can tell that my graphics card now, even though I'm running OBS and I'm also running the Canon software so you can see the actual, so you can see me on the actual camera, you know, uh, is running very smoothly. We don't have any, so many issues. Everything is doing okay. You know, uh, we... We can go full lap, no issue. Let me just drive slowly. Let's just change graphics, change view. Oh man, it's just impossible to... Absolutely impossible. In the rain. The handling is just horrible. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let me just exit because I can't do this. Um, retire to pit, yes. Exit, yes. So let's just talk about the handling very quickly. Um, basically, there are issues since the, the recent update um, with the car. So we, we're, we're okay now, as you tell, you know, as I, as I told you, um, you know, we're going to keep it to eight, but, you know, let's just start with, with the actual 
of the actual game itself since the latest updates that occurred a few days ago when you put the car on the default settings it is just almost impossible to control and this goes for almost all the cars absolutely all the cars it's really really horrible I don't understand it um, you know I really don't get it so uh, you know all right let's go back into the game all right let's go so we're at eight cars as well I'm going to show you that even on the drive it's really really hard to control the cars as well all right we're about to and I'm gonna I'm gonna drive the car as is that means as much as I possibly can as fast as I possibly can I seem to be doing better all right we seem to be doing okay so far ah there we go here's some issues um, let me just restart the set, uh, re retire and I'm going to up the amount of cars on the track and put all the no, I'm just going to up the cars on the number of track first just to show you so let's go to opponent settings put this back to 16 there we go let's save there we go start there we go because there is a big difference between you know dry and also wet simply because of all the particle effects so when you're doing a dry track it's okay when you have the cars on 16 but when you're running the track on uh, on wet then that's basically when you you know start to to have all the issues all right let's start let's go all right go 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 on all cylinders we're fired up 16 cars on the grid instead of 8 I have to brake because otherwise I will go completely out of the circuit alright there we go they're going full throttle alright I have to brake because oh god there we go fortunately there's a problem with the handling of the car I can't turn and then when I'm on the dirt I completely go off like so all right let's go let's start again and I can't go full throttle otherwise I will completely slide all right there we go all right and I can't turn again so this wasn't like this um, you know previously when the game was uh, you know before we had the latest update I had no issues whatsoever I was able to turn I was able to you know my control is here you can look and see in my in the little window you can see the controller and it's just if I go after a certain limit I can't turn anymore it's very very hard to turn so that's one of the issues and then the second issue is um, in the in the rain I just slide everywhere, even on the wet tires. It's really impossible to control the car. I mean, basically they've made it really, really hard to control the car. And I really, really don't understand why. So let's just retire. And then now what we're going to do is we're going to put all the graphics back to maximum. Just to show you once more that it runs absolutely fine for an RTX 2070 anyway. Even though you don't need to put all the cars to maximum, okay, as I just mentioned before. Let's go to performance, texture on high, and it's triple 16, MSA on high already, okay. Environment map on ultra, car detail high, track detail high, shadow on ultra, this on four, car detail, grass detail on high, and then the rest doesn't matter. Okay, there we go. And then let's go back to our single race. I'm going to choose a different uh, time of day. Let's choose the morning this time. 
6 o'clock in the morning. It's just a bit cloudy. Give a bit of different feel to the, to the actual game. Save. And then we'll choose a different track as well. There we go. I don't know this track, so... Alright, fine. Select. And let's go. This looks like Monica. I don't know if it is. No, South Africa. Alright. So this is going to look very, very interesting. And the game runs very smoothly as well when you're in multiplayer, by the way. No issues there either. And this will be our last test before we conclude the video. Alright, let's go to Options, Control, make sure Automatic is set up, okay. No issues with the screen, as you can tell, no stutter, no jitter, so everything's working fine. So we're not going to have any issues during the gameplay either, because obviously our particles are on low, and we're during the daytime as well. Um, okay, Controls, run Automatic, yes. Let's go to Edit Setup, Advanced, everything's on default, okay, good. Alright, let's start. Different time of day, different kind of graphics, a lot more jitter, jittery in the graphics. Alright, let's go, 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 go. Alright, we're about to break. There we go. Oh, they're about to break anyway. Alright, a little bit of contact there. Nice shadows. A little bit, uh, I can tell there's some drop frames in the game for sure. It's not as smooth as what it was before. Alright, let me just make sure we're still recording. Yes, we are, we are still recording, so all good. Alright, and then let's, uh, let's just press resume. My VR dash wave dot store lens prescription adapters are doing great. Uh, you do get 5% promo uh, discount using the promo code VR Essentials. Details in the link description below, guys. By the way, do subscribe. Maybe you subscribe and also enable the bell notification. All right, let's resume. Let's go, 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 go. Oh, no, I forgot to break. And I can't turn because there are some issues. Let me just show you the controller. Let me just uh, restart the session very quickly and then let's just start so you can see the controller in the little window below all right let's go 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 some contact there all right go so as you can see i'm on full throttle at the moment all right they're all gonna break in just a second there we go they're breaking now some contact never mind there's always a bit of oh oh my god look at that what a big mess oh my god Alright, so we're back at almost full throttle, second gear, third gear. Oh, I've got a break and I can't turn for some stupid reason. Alright, full throttle again. Fourth gear. Fifth gear. Alright, we're going back into second. Alright, third gear, fourth gear. Alright, we're breaking again into second gear. Ah, I'm trying to turn, it's very hard. So basically, you know, when you're not setting up your car for the first time, it's much, much harder to control the cars. It's a real bummer. I don't really understand why. They've made some changes with the new DLC and everything. Unfortunately, oh my god, I can't turn it. Oh. Alright, I gotta stop. I gotta stop. It's really, really hard. Um, let me just transition back onto the actual... There we go, transition, so we're back. So guys, as you can tell uh, from the graphic, the various different graphic settings, we are able, without a doubt, um, you know, to, to have the graphics to the maximum with no issues and also 16 cars. The point I'm trying to make is that since the new update four or five days ago, first of all, if the cars are really hard to handle from the get-go, you're gonna have to tweak your cars much more. I think this is a new bug. I don't know, just something that something has gone wrong in the last update that happened a few days ago with Automobile Set 2. So be aware of that. And then secondly, uh, when you are gonna be using the wet track conditions, bring everything down to eight cars on the track and also your particle effects and your particle level 
make sure they're on low okay you don't need them on medium or you might have some issues all right i proved it this is a non-edited raw first cut video guys